All right, I'm just gonna make a quick little video on how to make an incredibly simple little bar down here in the bottom right corner. So instead of saying DWM-6.2, it's gonna say that time, battery, CPU temperature, um, and that's it actually. So first things first, we're gonna need some packages. So let's get some packages. You're gonna need xorg, I'm pretty sure. And that's it actually. So just get all of this. Um, yeah, we're gonna use xset root. I don't know if this is part of xorg, but part of me thinks it is. So basically xset root, well, it does nothing. Well, let's see, does it have a, okay, it's got all like this boring stuff. Like we don't actually care about that, but you say xset root dash name, hello. Oops, I guess it's one dash. So we do xset root dash name only one dash, hello. Down here it says hello, and it stays that way. So what we want to do is we want to make that say the date and have it update. And that's really easy. We could do that using a bash script. So if we do xset root uh, date like that, or no, we got to say name, oops. And then put in your thing like that. It'll show the date, but as you can see, it's not updating. Um, because it just it ran it once and then there's nothing to overwrite it. We do it again. If you look at the seconds, seconds will change. Do it again, etc. Now it's 521. So what we want to do is we want to add this to our auto start script that we made in the last video setting up DWM. Or if you didn't watch that video, go watch that video. Um, but basically one of the things we did in like the latter half of the video, we made a folder called .dwm and inside there's an auto start. Uh, you have to get the auto start patch uh, for DWM, which I show you how to get in the other video. Um, but basically, in this auto start script, it just sets the wallpaper. So, although right now, I guess, interesting. I guess doing X set root or something, it might mess up the uh, wallpaper. This has happened before, don't worry about it. Because um, basically, if we exit out of DWM and then come back in, it'll show that like the wallpaper will come back. But basically, we want to make a, a while loop. You just say while true do and then done down here. And then we just put our command. So xset root or dash name. Uh, and then we do the date, something that updates. Date like that. Okay, I forgot to sudo it. That's very annoying. Can I? Can I do that? Okay, nice. Cool, so now if we run auto start, you can see all the wallpaper fixed itself. Although the cursor is an X, whatever. But you see now that the date is updating. But what we wanna do is it's updating at like a rate of as fast as possible. And we don't really want that because we don't need it to be running like, you know, a million times a second. So what we do is we put it sleep one second. And what that'll do is, I forgot to do sudo again, but if we run it again, it's, it looks the same, but it's using a lot less like processing power. I mean, it's, you know, it's basically using none, but still like it's a lot less, uh, you know, demanding. Now you can also make this sleep one minute. Uh, so then if you run it now, it's not gonna update for a minute and then it'll only update well, it'll look like it's only updating the minutes, but it's updating the entire thing, but the seconds just happen to be the same. I like it to have these uh, seconds there, so I just have one second. I think if you just have one, I think that's minutes by default, but adding the S makes it seconds. Okay, so that's basically the end of that, just adding the time. Since it's in the auto start, it'll automatically start every time we open up DWM. I'm not gonna quit out because OBS is running and I don't wanna resync the audio because I'm using a mic this time, not the laptop mic. Um, but at my convenience, we will not be doing that, but it will work, assuming uh, you did uh, sudo command plus x auto start start.sh. That just makes it executable. You have to do that. That's I covered that in the last video. 
Um, but now, let's just say you don't like the way that time looks because it's super long. It says Wednesday, March 3rd. You know, it's, it's too much. It has got the time zone. Like, I don't need that. What you can do is the date. The date is actually a command. If you just type date, it shows the date. If you date again, it updates. Um, so there's different like uh, modifiers you can do. And actually, if we do manual, yeah, there's probably a bunch of stuff you can do, but I don't really care about that. Um, but if you add into, oops, if you add into here, there's some modifiers. You put them in quotes like this. So. Uh, oops, did that wrong. I'm just going to copy down what I have on my other laptop because this is what I like. That basically, uh, oopsie, it, it does like year, month, day, and then hours, minutes, seconds. Um, there's probably like a, a method to this if you read the manual, but I didn't. Um, so I don't really care. But if you do that, now it'll show this year, month, day with the dashes in between. You saw that um, we did that here. There's dashes in between here and there's uh, colons in between here. And that directly corresponds to this. So since it's in quotes, it kind of like prints exactly what it sees. I could probably, if I have hello in here, let me see if that does anything. Yeah, it just adds hello. So it's basically just a text thing, but it figures out that since it has a percent sign here, it replaces this with the year. So you can get, you know, get funky with it if you want to. Um, but yeah, that's what I use on mine because it's nice and simple. Uh, but now we're going to move on to showing the battery because uh, with laptops, especially laptops only, you know, <laughs> not desktop battery, but you're going to want to know what percentage the battery is at. Uh, that can be especially annoying if you have a not very good battery. You don't know if you're about to die or not. And uh, since you're using DWM, you're not going to have any, you know, bloated widgets telling you to plug in the laptop. So you got to figure it out. Uh, but we're going to be using a program called ACPI. Um, if you don't have it, just uh, I think it comes stock with Manjaro. But if you don't have ACPI, uh, you know, just sudo pacman uh, ACPI or apt. Um, if you're on Ubuntu based. Uh, I know that this all of this works on Ubuntu. Um, I assume it works on you know Fedora and whatever. So when you type ACPI it shows the battery. Uh, but it shows a lot of information about the battery. But let's just say we go into here and you want to add a little module to this thing. So basically if you just put it in the quotes it'll do it. So if we put a hello here, save it, hello and run it, it'll add hello to the thing. Basically, what you want to do is add another one of these things. So I think that means like function or something. Do ACPI, run it. Now it shows all of this stuff. You so battery zero, okay, charging 98%, and then all of this until charged. Um, and this will update. But that's like a lot to have on your bar. And especially with like DWM, if you have Firefox open, like look, see, it, it cuts it off because it's, you know, this is huge, but why do we need that? We don't, we can get rid of it. So, go into here, or actually, let's go back out, I'm just go into here, do ACPI-B, that's the exact same thing. Right, that reminds me of something later, but, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, but this thing that I stole from someone else, if we just do that and then Type in awk and then print and dollar four like that. What that does is it just puts out the thing. And I think this print money sign thing it like prints out the fourth or fifth element of the um, the thing. So like if we count here like one two or I guess battery is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. That's what I assume it does. Just kind of like what's it deducing that but basically what we want to do is make it so in our auto start we do ACPI that and then awk and then print and then the fourth one because that's what's the like the normal battery come on uh oh messed it up oh I forgot to put quotes around it there we go 
so it knows what to do. And now we run it, it says 99% and that. Then I also have a little piece that gets rid of the comma. This is also more syntax that I'm not really familiar with, but you do that and then S E D S that and then comma that that. So I assume what this does is the S means like remove and then the stuff in between these two bits is what you remove. Um, because if you ACPI that awk and then print money for that, it's got that comma there. And then if we add said S groups S that, 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 see it gets rid of the comma. Um, so we'll just have that in there. Save, save, do that, and now there's no comma. But what if you want a little divider? What if you think that it's you know 992,021? Uh, yeah, since it's a text thing, or since everything's in quotes, all you gotta do is just add the divider that you want. So I'll use a three pipes, let's just say, do that. Do it, and now there's three pipes in between. Um, that part's super easy. There's multiple spaces there. Um, yeah. So now let's say you want the uh, temperature, which is the last little piece that I'm going to add because that's kind of the only thing that I care about. If you want other stuff, I think in this ACPI it shows a bunch of like, yeah, battery, AC adapter, thermal, that's what we're going to use. Cooling, I don't know the difference between thermal and cooling. Uh, capital V. Okay, let's see. Um, ACPI capital B. Ooh, okay. Nice. So these are like the little modules we can put in. And of course you can put in like other stuff, but I'm trying to do this super simple. Um, mouse, please. Okay. You can barely see my mouse. I'm sorry. But first thing, battery and then design capacity, this last full capacity. It's like, what? What does that even mean? Doesn't matter. Thermal, stuff like that. Whatever. Cooling. Processors <laughs> zero of ten, and then all this stuff that we don't really care about. If we do ACPI T, that's what we want. And then if we count the little modules here, we got one, two, three, four. So print four is what we're gonna want in our thing because that's the you know actual temperature. So what we do is we say I want it in between here. Let's put a pipe for a little divider, and then inside we do. ACPI dash T and then pipe again awk uh, print money sign for that and then close out that thing save save uh, do it again now it's got the temperature of the uh, CPU now I want to try something real quick I have not tried this so uh, be wary but let's see let's see if we wanted multiple things I think um, if you ACPI dash T degrees should be the fifth. Let's say we want 57 and then C. Oops. Let's put six there. Uh -oh. Oh. Uh, what did I mess up? The stupid quotes. Okay. Okay, there's a little artifact there. Let's try something else and then I'll give up because I don't really care that much. So it's all in one thing. This might not work. Yep, does not work. Okay. Well, I don't know. There's definitely a way to fix that, but that's a little beyond the uh, you know basic thing that I was going for. So that's basically that. Have a good March, I guess. Uh, see ya.